Good morning and happy Monday after Christmas. Hope you're all well. Hope you had a good Christmas uh, 2020 style. Here we go into our last days before we go into 2021. So just a little feedback for you on Christmas itself. Um, we had really wonderful celebrations here at all four of our masses. We had overflow folks out in the parking lot and we did some fun engagement between the parking lot people and the people inside the church. I'm really grateful that our technology worked well, grateful for the positive spirit of everyone who participated and the people who helped make this happen. So it was, it was quite an undertaking to do something other than just turn people away and say, I'm sorry, um, because of COVID, we can only have 200 people in the church. So it was a fun celebration. We had a lot of people in the parking lot that were just filled with good spirit, a sign of peace, people waving out the windows at each other, um, some people that we haven't seen for nine months. So that's such a gift just to see them back here and to realize that together we can celebrate the birth of Jesus in our very broken world that so needs a savior so much. Uh, three awards I'm going to be announcing next weekend, but you'll get a preview. So the best decorated vehicle in the parking lot went to the Tenorios. Uh, they had a truck parked right near the front of the church there. Uh, the rear deck of the truck was covered over and they had a big blow up Snoopy set on that. Uh, Christmas lights taped all over the truck. Very, very festive, very cool. Um, the follow up one on that, I gotta say, and I didn't walk back in time to catch who it was. They put a ladder on top of the roof of their car and a star way up on top of the ladder. Uh, that was That's certainly the creativity award for uh, doing something really different and neat. So that was fun. Uh, the best, decorated dog award goes to the Xavier family. Their dog was all dressed up as cute as could be, made my day. Uh, it doesn't take much to make my day sometimes, so that was really fun and cute. And the Spirit Award went to Sue Ann Koniak, who brought along a portable chair, sat out in front of the church with her device, with a nativity set set up alongside her, with battery-powered Christmas lights, and her coffee. Um, and was just full of good spirit. So thanks to all of you who participated inside and outside and for the good spirit and for all of you who watched at home as well. So I'm glad we have that option now as well. So as we go into these last days before New Year's, let's continue to be filled with gratitude for the blessings that we've received uh, throughout 2020. Despite everything else and all the things that went ways that we would have never guessed, God is faithful. And all of that is a reminder of how much we need a savior in our poor, broken world and in our poor, broken lives. God bless you, keep you, and prepare you for 2021.